In this video I will show you how you can program a phishing checker using ChatGPT and Python which even tells you the probability that an incoming email is a phishing email. But what exactly is phishing? The term phishing is made up of the two words password and phishing. Fraudsters try to obtain confidential information such as usernames, passwords and credit card details from unsuspecting victims. This is done, for example, by sending fake emails or messages that appear to come from trusted sources such as banks, social networks or other online services. The aim is to get the recipient to click on a link or enter personal data. What's the architecture of the Python program we want to use for the analysis of potential phishing emails with ChatGPT? The user first saves the suspicious email and, if applicable, the email header in a text file. When starting the program, the user directly enters the path to this file. Afterwards, the content of this file is read and sent to the language model inside a prompt via the OpenAI API. The language model then processes the content and headers of the email and provides a percentage estimate of whether or not it is a phishing email. For the implementation in Python, we use the API from OpenAI. To do this, you need the OpenAI module, which you can download and install with the command pip install openai. After that, import the two libraries openai and sys. Define a variable api underscore key to which you assign your OpenAI API key. I have already explained how to obtain such an API key from openai in another video. You can find the link in the video description down below. Define a list in which you can save the conversation history with ChatGPT. As a system instruction, you can use something like you are an assistant that helps detecting phishing mails. Then the language model already has a context and knows how to respond. In the main program, we use the context manager to read the content of a file that is provided by the user when the program is started. We access this path to the file via the list argv on the module sys. This is the email to be analyzed by ChatGPT. We read the mail content into a variable called mail using the read method. After that, we define the following prompt. Could the following mail be a phishing mail? We place the content of the mail to analyze inside curly brackets. That means instead of the variable mail, the value of the variable mail is standing right there. Answer with a risk from 0 to 100%. This is important. And this sentence that this is important is important as well, because otherwise ChatGPT might miss this instruction. That's what my experiments have shown in the past. What indicators did you use? We add this prompt to our conversation and send it via the API from OpenAI to the language model GPT-3.5-2. We use the previously defined API key to authenticate against the API. We save the result of the API call in a variable named response. After that, we read the answer that means the actual text from this variable. Finally, we print the message directly to the console. Okay, then let's test our program. Therefore, I've created two text files, mail1 and mail2, and one is containing a phishing mail and the other is not. To start the program, we will use the command python phishgpt.py and after that I will provide the path to the file we want to analyze, in this case mail1.txt. Press enter. After that, wait a few seconds until ChatGPT has done its analysis. And that's the result. Based on the provided information, the risk of this email being a phishing attempt is low. And that's correct. <laughs> this email was in fact a business inquiry. Indicators used. The email appears to be promoting a legitimate company called LearnDesk Inc. The company's name, address and contact information are provided. This is not necessarily an indicator that a mail is not a phishing mail. The email specifically mentions coming across the recipient's learning content and offers a potential partnership opportunity. And that's also correct, but this could still be a phishing mail. 
The email includes a link to schedule a phone meeting, which is a common method of communication for business collaborations. That's also correct, but please consider that links could also be manipulated. The email does not request personal or sensitive information. Considering these indicators, the risk of this email being a phishing attempt is around 10%. As requested, ChatGPT provides us a percentage estimate from 0 to 100% how likely the mail is a phishing mail. But it also says it is still important for the recipient to exercise caution and verify the legitimacy of the email. Okay, let's analyze the other mail in mail2.txt by using the command python phishgpt.py and then mail2.txt. Wait a few seconds and then you are provided with this result. Based on the provided information, the risk of this email being a phishing mail is difficult to determine with certainty. However, there are a few indicators that suggest a potential phishing attempt. Unusual request. The email asks to insert a game trailer into your video and provides payment details. This request may seem out of the ordinary, especially if you are not familiar with the sender or their organization. Suspicious links. The email contains a link to a file on Google Drive. Phishing emails often include malicious links that can lead to fake websites or download harmful files. Request for personal information, unlike the other email. The email includes a password that the sender claims to be your personal password. Genuine organizations typically do not include passwords in their emails. Poor grammar and formatting. The email contains several grammatical errors and formatting inconsistencies, which can indicate a lack of professionalism and raise suspicions. And as we requested, there is also a percentage estimate. Considering these indicators, the risk of this email being a phishing attempt is moderately high, around 60%. And just like in the other email, it is important to exercise caution and verify the legitimacy of the email and its sender before taking any action. Will you use this program in the future to determine whether an email is a phishing mail or not? Write it down in the comments below. From my point of view, it is not the best idea to do this because you might leak some data. Imagine if a customer of yours writes sensitive information to you and you automatically send it to OpenAI via the API. From my point of view, the risk of leaking data is too high, considering that you might have a very high false acceptance rate and a very high false rejection rate, depending on what mood ChatGPT is right now. It is much better to run a low it is much better to run a GPT with provided examples for phishing mails from your company, or even better, because you have the same privacy leaking problem there, you run a local instance of a large language model and then you should be safe from my point of view. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.